Golden Hour is Ralph Seppe Jr.'s latest production. And you're probably thinking, who's Ralph Seppe Jr. and why does he look so familiar? Well, he's the guy behind the channel Ralph the Movie Maker. If you don't know what that channel is, well, look it up. It's a lot of fun to watch. Although I could have done a basic review of this film, there were too many things to say, so I decided to make this video. <laughs> This film, I mean, this miniseries has no plot, no structure, no character development, and it is basically just a compilation of scenes that Ralph thought were cool and artistic, while also giving him an, uh, an excuse to get high. I mean, the basic premise of the f series is that there is this guy who's addicted to weed, and then he starts to sell weed. Yeah, that's about it. Saying this makes me mad because he seemed like he was a promising filmmaker. Because although King Candy had a lot of problems, one being that it looks awful. Noise, noise, noise! noise! Ah! Ah! But the reason why it's watchable, and most importantly, rewatchable, is the fact that it has a story, it has a structure, it has something to say, and it's not just a compilation of scenes where Ralph Seppe Jr. is getting high. I mean, I guess this pointless story could make sense if it was some sort of a metaphor for something, or if the things that happen in this film would be connected to each other in some shape or form, but no, there are things in this miniseries that are just out there and don't have any point to be there. Like, why is this main character writing a book? No goddamn reason. Why is there this dog? What is its significance? Nothing! This dude also had a mom who had arthritis. What do we do with this information? Nothing. And most importantly, why does this pretentious piece of motherfucking shit exist? But Anti, it's high art, you just don't get it because you're stupid. Shut the Ow. fuck up! Now, I don't want to be too hard on Ralph for his acting skills, because I know that he's at least a decent actor, and also because I don't want to sound like a hypocrite because I act in my own movies too. What, what separates us as filmmakers and actors is the fact that I at least notice that I'm not a good actor. But you really cannot say that the acting in this film is any good. I mean, look at this. How was your first year of college? It was okay. Alright, see you around. Alright, I'll see you around. Hmm. This reminds me of something that I've seen before. And because I know Ralph is going to watch this, uh, now I'm going to directly speak to you. Um, Ralph, you should consider hiring other people to act in your film, not just you and your friends, like actual actors, you know? Because oh, remember, you have a fan base, you have people that watch your videos, and also there's this place called the, the internet, internet, where you can literally find everything. I repeat, everything. everything. Why am I telling you this? Well, it's because of your giant fucking ego. You see, you're not the next Shane Carruth. You're just more and more turning yourself into Seth MacFarlane, who you criticized for making literally everything in his film. And I don't want it to be that way. As I said, you seemed like a promising filmmaker, and although, again, King Candy had uh, some issues, I still enjoyed the film. It seemed like you were going to be the next Tarantino or something. But then you made this shit. I mean, look at this! Can you say that, with a straight face, that this... It's okay, thank you. Or this... 
How was your first year of college? It was okay. All right, see you around. All right, I'll see you around. Is good acting. And all right, maybe your friend's line delivery is maybe not as bad and as in these two examples, but at the same time, their acting is nothing groundbreaking or remarkably rememberable. <laughs> all right, that was epic. That was epic. You seem to be so egocentric that you write the lead role to yourself without even thinking, can you pull it off? So my suggestion for the future would be that you should write a story that makes sense and cast another actor to play the lead. Again, you don't have to do everything by yourself. Or step out of this director's chair and let other people direct you. That way you can learn how to be a better actor and pull off some of the more complex characters that you're trying to play. The camera work in this film is kind of odd. You see, it has some shots that look absolutely amazing. At the same time, it has some shots like this, which look Ralph shot them by himself. Some shots where the sun is overexposing the sky, and some shots where the color correction is off. Also, Ralph decided to throw in these scenes where he uses colored lights, which um, looks cool and all, but has no purpose to be there. You, you see, usually colored lights are associated with some kind of metaphorical subtext in films. You know, like in Moonlight where the colors blue and yellow represented love and everything that was blue represented something that was part of our main character's life. And do I even have to mention about Drive? Like, seriously. Especially when this scene has been overanalyzed to death already. You know what? Now I think of it, my explanation doesn't hold water as well as I thought it would. But I'm still gonna stand behind my point and add that Ralph doesn't have a consistent style in his filmmaking. It, it seems like Ralph for a second thought that he's the next Martin Scorsese, but then the next he's decided that no, I want to be Nicholas Winding Refn. And a few minutes later he decided to, to be like, no, fuck these guys, I'll be myself, and shot the scene by himself without any crew. I mean, seriously, you should have some kind of consistency with your film's look. Don't shoot most of your film outside in the daylight, but then decide to go inside and shoot scenes with colored LED lights. It breaks the film. It breaks the immersion that this is a film and makes it look like it's just someone trying to prove themselves that hey, I'm an artist, look how artistic my work is because I use colored lights. And I know how obscure comparison this is, but think about Hobo with the shotgun. In that film, they use a huge variety of colored lights, but what makes it work is the fact that it's, the, it's consistent and it fits the mood and the style of the film. In your film, there's no consistency with your usage of LED lights. You just throw them in there for a second, forget about them, and then decide to throw them in there again for the cool and artistic reasons. Now, I think I know what Ralph was going for when he was making this film. He tried to make a Wolf of Wall Street-esque film without realizing that Wolf of Wall Street is actually a comedy. You see, while being a character study of a humble man turning into a money-hungry asshole who's addicted to drugs while his business grows, most of it is played as comedy, depicting real-life events and taking them to the extreme. You see, it doesn't make your film into less of a movie if your movie is partly a comedy. And, I mean, the reason why films like Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction work is because they are partly comedies. A god came down from heaven and stopped- Oh! What the fuck's happening? Oh, oh man! Shit, man! 
Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck you do that? But oh boy, Ralph seems to hate the word comedy because he tries to stay away from making one without realizing that co comedy is one of the reasons why people watch his videos. I said this already and I'll say it, say it again, but it doesn't make your film into less of a movie if it's a comedy. And the reason why he probably hates the word is because he thinks that that turning his films into a comedy will ruin his filmmaking career, although I think it would work the other way around. It would rather save it, because right now his films are just boring, horribly made character dramas that just don't work. Now, I have nothing against Ralph. In fact, I love his stuff. I love him. Now kiss me. But although I respect him as a content creator, it still shouldn't stop me from being extremely critical about his artistic work. Overall, the whole this whole mini this whole film slash miniseries or whatever he wants to call this sucks. It's pointless, it has no point, the characters are bad, the whole thing is just complete piece of shit and it shouldn't exist. But it does. And it's sad because I still believe that Ralph has potential to be a great filmmaker. And I still believe that he'll make something great one day, but right now he's kind of stuck with this kind of I'm the next Martin Scorsese kind of mindset. And you know, I'm one of those people who hates to shit on indie filmmakers, because there are actually p people who are actually busting their asses off and trying to make something, something with extremely low budget. And I don't want to push push people that do this down because I I also make my own movies and would like to make movies as a job one day. S so Ralph, if this video offended you, I'm sorry. My intentions were to give to give criticism towards your latest product and tell you that you need to improve. Also, this video works as a, remind a reminder to me that I am an extremely hypocritical person and I should shut the hell up about other people's work. Or not, I'm just an asshole.